new issue is basically letting you kind of pitch forward. So instead of running this, you're running that to come forward. Make sense? Mm. Yeah. And again, if you want to see this too, uh, you look at the really important thing, which is again, you've got hip extension, right? Mm -hmm. So at the table here, it's a pretty good hip extension. So let's look at your hip extension you're using to run. When you run, you use none on your right. A few degrees in the left. <laughs> yeah, okay. you, well, you have it, right? But think about it. You're so pitched forward, you don't have any time to get that leg off because your whole reference plane is actually shifted from here. Okay? <laughs> so what, what you should be doing is extending your what? Your hip. That's hip extension. Yeah. This is back extension. Okay. Gotcha. So you're wondering now why you're having this chronic issue, because guess what? You're here and all I want to get your leg through is to go and crank forward those hip flexors, which is why they're overworked and irritated and don't feel very good when I poke on them. Yeah. Okay. Holy crap. All right. So that's a, that's a major, major, major issue. Okay. So again, um, spine stays extended, severe increase in pelvic tilt, um, decreased hip extension. Again, I'm seeing no hip extension on the right side, only a few degrees on the left. Now we look at your hip rotation here, okay? Think about it. I looked at you earlier today and I said, look, here's where your legs want to be. Your feet were sort of out like this, right, a little bit, and knee caps were pretty much straight ahead. When you're running, okay, you allow your left hip to rotate to about 10 degrees into a rotation, which is actually pretty normal, okay? Because um, you, your legs should actually rotate. It's part of pronation. I'm okay with that. 